Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Date announced for Red Arrow's tour. Spaceship 2 crew urges their wings. And Able Flight sets new records for scholarships. Welcome to your Monday edition of Airborne Unlimited. I'm Skylar Vanell. Our top story of the day. The Red Arrows will take part in the Royal International Air Tattoo at Fair Ford July 1st through the 21st. Then it's off to North America for the Western Hawk 19 Tour, where they will travel across the U.S. and Canada. The Red Arrows will display at several U.S. air shows and areas with strong U.K. links for the first time in more than a decade. And this major tour to North America will provide an important opportunity to both showcase the best of British and highlight the strongest relationship with the U.S. and Canada. The Red Arrows are an international symbol of Britain. When we come back, we'll take you around the patch. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at airplanefactory.com. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concord's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concord, the heart of your aircraft. The FAA recently recognized the National Center for Aerospace and Transportation Technologies Aircraft Electronics Technician Certification as equivalent to formal training when determining eligibility for a repairment certificate. This action helps simplify the application process for repairment certification. A technician who receives the certification plus at least one NCATT avionics endorsement can now use such training to comply with a regulatory requirement. Astronics Aerosat recently received EASA certification of its new generation SATCOM connectivity system. The components certified include Flightstream F310 SATCOM connectivity antenna and its new Air Inc. 791 style AeroShield radome and adapter plate solution. NASA and its commercial crew program provider Boeing and SpaceX have agreed to move the target launch dates. The agency is targeting March 2nd for the launch of SpaceX Crew Dragon on its uncrewed Demo-1 test flight. Boeing's uncrewed orbital flight test is targeted to launch in April. The inaugural test flights of their next-generation American spacecraft and rockets will launch astronauts to the International Space Station. The Milwaukee's airport name for General Billy Mitchell has undergone rebranding. The term general has been dropped from the airport brand and is now called the Milwaukee Mitchell International Airport. The name change is to reflect the geographic location. That wraps up today's trip around the patch. The dream is real, a truly affordable personal jet aircraft. The Subsonics personal jet kit is priced at only $42,000. Kit plus engine is still under hundred k Add instruments, upholstery, and paint and you're flying. It's time to put your money where your bucket list is. Learn more at sonicsaircraft.com. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro tso airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. U.S. Transportation Secretary pinned astronaut wings on Virgin Galactic spaceship to test pilots Mark Stuckey and Frederick Stuckrow in Washington, D.C. on Thursday. 
Back on December 13th, Virgin Galactic's Spaceship Two, named the VSS Unity, was carried by the White Knight Two carrier aircraft from the Mojave, California Air and Spaceport. With the two pilots on board the VSS Unity, the White Knight Two gradually climbed to an altitude of almost 40,000 feet, where it released the spacecraft. The pilots lit the engine and guided the VSS Unity 51.39 miles above the Earth and into space. The vehicle returned from space and safely glided back to the spaceport. Last year's historic spaceflight marked the nation's return to space on an American-made rocket and paves the way for future travel to space with commercial spaceflight participants. The pinning of the wings represents a remarkable achievement for these crew members. And our final story of the day. Able Flight sets new records by awarding 10 scholarships for 2019. This year's Able Flight Scholarship recipients marks a milestone for the program with the largest numbers of scholarships and veterans in a single year. The program has awarded more than 100 total scholarships since the program was founded. This year also marks the 10th consecutive year of Able Flight's partnership with Purdue University and the third year of its partnership with Ohio State. With flight school beginning in mid-May, the students have already begun their studies with online courses donated by Sporty's Pilot Shop. Graduates of the class of 2019 will receive their Able Flight wings on the stage at the EAA Air Venture in July. And that wraps up our show for today. If you have a story suggestion, go ahead and send us an email at news-spy at arrow-news.net. I'll see you back on Wednesday for more Airborne Unlimited.